for our margaritas we're gonna make. How's everyone's Friday? Everyone get up, do a stretch. Let's have a stretch while we get warmed up here. Okay, here we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Friday, TGIF Friday to everyone. Welcome, we are going to be, hold on a second, let me get you up here. There we go. Hey Denise, how are you? Jill, how's it going? We are here, we have been madly roasting chilies because we have queso fundido, we're gonna make some homemade salsa and margaritas with my secret margarita um, ingredient. So we are gonna get going here, but I thought I would sport, try and get in the spirit here with my cute little scarf. I'm not sure I can cook with this on, but I thought I'd at least start with it on. Hey Florence, how are you? Um, we are gonna go forward here with our queso fundido and margaritas and homemade salsa. Hey Aaron, but I think I have to take my fancy entrance scarf off because I don't think I can get it in the flame. So there you go. Just like Cher, remember in the 70s, she came out in one thing and, and had something else on underneath. So here we go. I've got the pan, I'm gonna move it over here, actually, so they're both hot. I wanna get it in the shot here. Working the cast iron today. So in my little one, cast iron pan, I just browned, I'm not sure this is, this is not in the Instagram shot. I just browned a pound of Jimmy Dean, world's best sausage, Jimmy Dean, except what I found in Oklahoma. Sandy, since you just got on, the Potter's, is it called Potter's or Mr. Potter's or something? Spicy sausage, oh my goodness. Give Mr. Jimmy Dean a run for his money. But I think they only have it in Oklahoma because I've never seen it here. But um, there's some Jimmy Dean all cooked while we were waiting for you guys. But in the pan then that I cooked the sausage in, I'm gonna throw in here and get started with the onions. I have about half of a white onion here I'm going to throw in and get that started while we are gabbing here. How is everyone doing today on Friday? You survived another week of shelter in place. This is what we're calling it, shelter in place. So we are... I went to, made a special trip today. One of the things that makes queso fundido, first of all, who knows what queso fundido means? Or even well, what it is. Does anybody have a guess what it is or what it means? Let's see. Oh, there's Dr. Harkins. Hey, my chiropractor's on. This is probably not a chiropractor approved meal, queso fundido and margaritas, but feel free to jump in here <laughs> if you have any secrets. Hey, Susan, hey, Nick. Queso fundido, margaritas, and salsa is what we're gonna get ready to make. I just put the onions in the cast pan here, in the pan that I cooked the sausage in, because I cooked the sausage while we were waiting for you guys. And I'm gonna get those starting to brown up here. And then cheese. Wait for guesses. Oh, there, Megan, cheese fondue, you are close. What else is cheese fondue? Uh, we just looked it up is how we know. <laughs> we cheated. Um, how are you, Megan? It's a gorgeous day here. I wish you, you were here. Megan's my friend, lives in New Jersey. Far, far away from here. Hey, Susan, I say hi to you already. How are you? Welcome, TGIF. Um, okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, sausage. This is what we used. Jimmy Dean hot. Best thing besides Mr. P Potter's. And then um, we are also going to make salsa. So let's um, get started on our salsa while we're getting our onions going here. Because I want to throw some cheese in here to get it melting. But let's give the onions another sec. And then I will get going here. Into the onions there, I am going to put some garlic that I already crushed while we were waiting for you guys. So we've got fresh, I meant this about, I don't know, three cloves of garlic. I'm gonna put that in. 
and get that going here. Yummy, nothing like onions and garlic, yum! Yum! Oh, you did? Susan just had a burrito. Yeah, we had burritos too for lunch. Um, made a special trip to the Mexican market here in Vallarta that is so fun. It's like a trip to Cabo right here. And they have so many yummy things. Plus they have all the food there that's made. So if you've never been to Vallarta, highly re recommend a trip there. I would show you the, um, uh, they're making fresh tortillas, just like you get in Cabo at the factories. But I mean, literally fresh. He took them out of the machine, put them into the bag and handed me the bag. And I'm like, right on. So we have totally homemade corn tortillas that were hot off the press like an hour ago. Um, hey Bruce, Annette, Nancy, welcome. Um, I was going to talk about the cheese. So the reason I went to Vallarta, to the Mexican market, was to get this cheese that I got in the deli. And it is Oaxaca. I asked the lady to pronounce it for me properly so I could tell you guys properly. But between the accent and the mask, I still don't have it, I'm sure, properly, but Oaxaca cheese, O-A-K-A-C-A. -A -A. She said they also call it quesadilla cheese. That I got through the mask, but that's what it is. It's basically like a Mexican string cheese. So it comes, it looks like this in the little curds, as you can see. But then I took some and chopped it up. But that's, I just want to show you what it looked like. But it just has a flavor and it gets real stringy and it just makes all the difference to have yummy cheese. So let me stir up my onions again here and then we'll throw this in. Now what's a curd? The curd, I don't know what the, happens to the milk when you put the rent in it. I saw them making homemade, last night they were making homemade ricotta. And they just use, you can use vinegar or lemon juice or rent with the milk to make homemade um, uh, ricotta looked delicious. Wow, I'm like, there's something we could try. Hey, yeah, hey girls, hey, there's my sister. Oh good, hey Parker, my nephew and my, si my sister are watching. I'm trying to get my son to come down and say hi. So maybe Parker, t text him and tell him to come down here and say hi. So I've got the first cheese in, then I've got some mozzarella here. So I'm going to put in, you know, a handful of mozzarella, and then I'm going to put in some cheddar I have going here. So I'll put in a handful of that, put some cheddar. I think we need a little more of our, of my favorite cheese here, the fancy cheese. I'll just break it up, throw it in there. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. More curd? More curd. Throw in some more curd. What words rhyme with curd? <laughs> I don't know, honey. What words rhyme with curd? I'll get back to you. Yeah, okay. So while that is mixing up and melting there, our cheesy yumminess there, I'm gonna throw some sausage back in that. See, yummy. And I'm not gonna use the whole pound because this pan is just not big enough, even though my husband would prefer me to use all the sausage. But right now, I don't want it to be too greasy. See, I cooked it, I put it on a plate here with some paper towels just to get some of the grease out. Because I think we've got plenty with the cheese. <laughs> okay, Jesse says herd rides with curd. Oh, she did. There's the mother of three boys who got that answer right. So in here, this is, um, I'm going to put in some, this is a can of Rotel that you guys know. I, Rex doesn't like the chunks, so I used the immersion blender and gave this a little whirl. But I like the taste of Rotel without the chunks. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in there to help with liquid for our yumminess here. Susan says bird rhymes with curd. Oh yeah, see she's a mother of boys too. And she picked a word besides the one I'm sure we were fishing for. Jill says word. Word, yeah, awesome. I will say what your sister said. <laughs> okay, well I can't read them while I'm doing this. Okay, so we're gonna let that just chill there for a second. I have some more things to go in there. We're, um, the roasted peppers. So we made, I made, roasted peppers from scratch. So in here, you guys probably can't see this, but I have a big one, that's why I left them whole here. A big one, Pasilla, and I did an Anaheim, this one. 
and roasted them, you know, on the stove. And then you put them in a brown bag and let them cook and then peel them off. The skin comes right off and then chop them up. So here we go, our homemade peppers are going in here. And these are not spicy um, peppers, but those are going in. Here I have a serrano here. I did the same thing too, you probably can't see, but I roasted it, peeled the skin off that one. I was gonna demonstrate one. I was gonna, I was gonna demonstrate the big ones too, but it was kind of a total mess. So I'll try and peel the serrano with some degree of decorum and uh, we'll get that thrown in. Hey Erica, how are you girl? We are making queso fundido. Maybe you know, what, is, what does queso fundido mean? Do you know? Megan was close. Okay, nothing like getting, I got chili skin there stuck to my hand. So I'm gonna chop this one up, just throw it in there for some heat. With Gary, I could use um, habaneros in this, but I'm just gonna leave the seeds in that serrano and throw it in there. Yummy! Well, it looks like Jill got it. She did? Yes. Melted cheese, that's it. Erica was very close. Yeah, what what she said? Cheese. Cheese. Yes, melted cheese was the correct answer. So it is melting. We have melted cheese going there. Okay, so while that is melting, hey Lisa, well, welcome. We've got queso fundido on the stove, and now we are gonna go and make some salsa. So let me pull this in, maybe in, uh, Instagram can see, and maybe they can't. They probably can't, because this is as far as I can go. So Instagram, I have a blender right here next to me. I'm sure they'll hear it. Yeah, she'll hear it. And in the blender is going, this is about, I didn't count them, eight or 10 tomatillos, those little green tomatoes that have the paper around them. So I took the paper off and we roasted them um, and then they're roasted. So they're ready to go in here. So they're going in, roasted tomatillos. So I guess you call a little bit cooked, roasted. And um, the serranos, since I just put one in there, I'm gonna use, I'm going to put the seeds in this. Take a few of the seeds out, I guess. So Special too guest. Spicy. Oh, there he is. Here's Rex came down, so he says hi. You wanna say hi? Hello. Say hi, TGIF. We're making salsa here. You can blend this for me. So there's one ro roasted serrano. Then I'm gonna put this jalapeno roasted in the salsa. And then I have a couple cloves of garlic that I threw in and roasted too. It's peeled and roasted and ready to go. And then, how's your spring break going? Good. Yeah, good? Yeah. Not as fun as what, as what we had planned, but here we are. I know, and I, I have heels on too. Wait, let me take my shoe off so you guys can see how tall he really is. You see? Well, Instagram can see, can you guys see? I swear, he grows so fast. My, your Aunt Julie says hi. You can she read the, co the comments. Oh, she did? <laughs> I said, yeah, because Parker's there and watching too. Hey, Parker. So where are we going here? Cilantro, salt, cilantro I have chopped. It's right here. So in our salsa here, we're getting sidetracked on. I'm gonna put some cilantro in there. And we need a little bit of water, which I'll put some in here. And then Rex can blend this up for us. You have, here's the lid. A little bit of water and a little bit of salt. We get everything in there. Tomatillo, serranos, garlic, so salt. We get a little bit of salt, which I didn't get out. A pinch of salt in the salsa. This is gonna be yummy. There you go. Make us some salsa, please. Here we go. Salsa on deck. There we go. That's as easy as salsa is to uh, to make. Want to be my taster? Not really. No. <laughs> be more enthusiastic than that, child. Rest your own camera. You're supposed to say Smile. yes to everything. Smile and taste. Just taste it. Thank you. Teenager, huh? Okay. Does ever, anybody ever been on a cooking show and ate something and just like... <laughs> yeah, I hope not. You can ever taste the food and spit it out? I hope not. Is it good? It's okay. Uh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, well let me try it then and see. You can go, Mr. Enthusiastic Teenager. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. I mean, that's delicious. You want to taste that, assistant? Of course. I do. No more pushback on the waffles, okay? It's yummy. Here you go. Oh, I was just eating that chip. <laughs> well, now I've double dipped. Well, this this needs more heat for this family, but it's yeah, it's yummy. It tastes delish. Hey, Del. How are you? Welcome. We've got our cheese. Oh my gosh. Yes, we do. We've got cheese going like a mad back here. Let's see. Oh, the giveaway today. Do you have a plan? Oh, the giveaway. I'm going to go grab me two more of those barbecue. Okay. Here we go. This is what? getting, oh my goodness. Are you going to go this? Okay. Now, while the cheese is finishing up there, I am going to move my ingredients here and we are going to make a margarita. Yes, we are. Okay things out of the way. Okay. Now I've got my shaker here and it already has ice by the magic of TV. So I get the water out. Okay. Now we are going to put together my favorite special margarita. Now the best, um, my favorite cocktail I've ever had, the best I've ever had is, um, the Blood Orange Margarita at the Coral Casino in Santa Barbara is the best cocktail I've ever had. Oh my gosh, it is so good. But the thing that makes it different and yummy is it has elderberry liqueur in it. So I have found a way to get that flavor and I will show you my secret weapon. But first let's get started here with the, mar with the margarita. And we will, I guess I'm gonna use that. That's what's in front of me. So we'll go with some tequila in there. And then this is the limeade I like, the Trader Joe's limeade, because it's not as sweet as um, the mix, it's just too sweet. So we do a splash of limeade in there. And then, of course, you have to have, I hear my cheese behind me is bubbling. I'll turn that down. Um, not ever good to hear your cheese. My cheese is bubbling. I can hear it. Cointreau. Got to have some Cointreau in a my margarita. So a little bit of Cointreau in there. And then I'm going to shake that up. Of course, very carefully on live. Hey, Charlie. How are you? Carol, nice to see you. Okay. I'm going to shake that up. I'm afraid if I get going too excited with that. I don't like the outcome. <laughs> so I'm gonna need, oh, I need to get a pretty glass out. Hold on a second. Get a glass out. Shaken, not stirred. Shaken, yes. Well, I can what see I your have, cheese from here. It's. What do I have in the pretty glass department? Well, your cheese is very active. Pull one that I can reach. Um, glass. Now, you could do salt around the rim. I um, Yeah, let's do salt. No, we're not going to do, do salt. I don't no, like please. salt. But we, um, I need some ice in my glass for my, oh no, I'll also use the stuff that's in here. Take that back. I'll just use my shaker ice here. See, we're a little discombobulated. The roasting of the chilies took a little time. The cheese boy, is boiling. They taste good. The cheese is, let's turn that down then. Don't want my cheese to get overdone back there, but man, it smells delish. Okay, cocktail in the glass. Let's use the ice that's in there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that, I planned it. So there's that, but the secret to the best margarita is this lemon elderberry soda from Trader Joe's. OMG, it is the best. So you have your margarita there, and then you're gonna take a little bit of this elderberry soda and float it on top. Get your lime in there. And then I like, instead of the salt, all that salt around the edge, I just put a little bit Grind a little salt just right on the top as a little floater, and voila! Let's see. That is the secret to the perfect margarita. Yum! Okay, that is like really an excellent 
cocktail there. So TGIF on the cocktail. Mm. What's it like after six of those? Yum. No, no. You never even drink probably two of those because they're so sweet. But they're yummy. So highly recommend my special margarita. So let's show you here what's happening to this cheese dip extravaganza. Now, if we weren't doing this all live, I would take that cast iron pan and put it in the oven and let it get all bu all bubbly in the oven, but we're not gonna do that here. So I'm just gonna sh garnish this and show you what we've got in our yummy, yummy cheese here. That in here we have our three kinds of cheese, onion, garlic, uh, roasted peppers, jalapeno, the serrano, Paseo, Anaheim, oh my goodness, green, melted cheese heaven right here. So let me move this over here. And then I'm gonna look at this Instagram. Yum! Okay, get my enthusiastic taster back. <laughs> Pull this back a little bit, move these things. Okay. Okay, there we go. You guys see? Let's taste that and see. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see how our dip turned out. Yummy. Taste of that. Mmm. Delish. Because who didn't like ever like melted cheese? So this is the best delish and the secret is the special cheese from the Mexican store but if you don't have it then you can use mozzarella jack cheddar you can use what you have in your pantry but I highly recommend the special cheese hey Kathy what if you have Velveeta Velveeta of course Velveeta always works awesome that works too um, now I do have a birthday shout out today um, I think I had a couple, but the one I remember right now, since I didn't write them down, um, is Mark Corcoran. It is your birthday, so you have a birthday shout out today. Here's my birthday shout out hat. Happy birthday to you, sir. Mark is our real estate photographer, and he's the bomb. He's awesome. He is so awesome that he even came and shot a property for me on the day his second child was born. <laughs> He had a child and shot a house for me on the same day. So um, Mark is the best and we, we really appreciate all he does for our real estate business. He even brought his wife and baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't do that. So we um, have our giveaway today that I, um, we're gonna give away. What's our plan? <laughs> oh, we have today these portable picnic blankets for the beach or for a picnic. And they come in these cool little packages. They come in a little pouch, but in this little, little pouch is a um, picnic bl blanket or a um, beach blanket. So we will give away those portable things right now. It's I a, find my it's a blanket for two. Blanket for two. I'm not, I don't know if it's, if it's that big. I haven't uh, uh, opened one. So here we go. If you have liked or commented on these videos, you are in the bowl. So everybody's in the bowl, in the pool. Sheila Jenkins. Sheila Jenkins is one of my oldest, de uh, dearest friends. She lives in Maryland. So shout out to Sheila. And let's see. I don't think she's on to, uh, to, uh, to today. Oh, Kathy Hagman says she has one of these blankets and they're awesome for the beach. She lives down at the beach, so she would know. She's testimonial there. And our second one is Lori Warren, another, uh, she's an out of town uh, realtor from Atherton. Awesome, congratulations, Lori. Um, we will be sending you your beach blanket slash picnic blanket and Sheila. So those are our winners for today. And then I wanna know if any of you guys um, did your homework from yesterday's show. Did anyone get on your Spotify or your Pandora and um, do your homework. Put on Aretha Franklin, I Got a New Attitude, and sing it at the top of your lungs. That was your homework. Let's see if anybody did it. Hey, Lynn, 
My friend Lynn just got on. She has um, these darling retail stores in Seattle, uh, Olympia area in Washington state. And she is doing gorgeous Mother's Day gift baskets um, that you can, if you live up there, you can go by and pick them up. She has three locations. Um, or you can order them from her online and they're just be 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 uh, beautiful. So if you're not gonna get to see your mom this year um, and you wanna ship her something, come tag Lynn or um, send Lynn a message and she will make you a beautiful gift basket. Her stores are just beautiful. So shout out for Lynn Grantham today. Hey Rhonda. And yeah, this is the end. You know, Lynn, let me get my, um, let me have my scarf back. I'll show you guys my scarf I opened with. <clears throat> Wardrobe. Wardrobe. <laughs> Wardrobe. Should I close with a dance since it's Friday? But here I'll put my scarf back on that we uh, that we opened with with our musical it, uh, intro. This scarf is from Barcelona, and Mom and I were in Barcelona a long time ago, and we've got this scarf. But it's always fun to pull it out on occasion to be in the spirit. I, if I had a sombrero around here, I would have put that on. <laughs> now, what, what is the spirit? The, the spirit of queso fundido? The spirit of queso fundido. Okay. <laughs> to get in the spirit. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. We love seeing you guys. We really love um, the interaction and the recipes are yummy. It's been so fun. Um, to tell you the honest truth, I don't know what we're making tomorrow, but we have a great show lined up for brunch on Sunday. So if you have any ideas for tomorrow's show, send them on in. I am open to suggestions and we will um, get something on deck for tomorrow. But we are here every day at three o'clock in April live. So join us here live and thanks for watching. And we wish you a wonderful weekend. And remember, the only two things you can control are your effort and your attitude. So pick a good one. And if you didn't do your homework last night, you have another chance. Get your Aretha Franklin, I got a new attitude, turn it on, sing it at the top of your lungs, and you will have a smile on your face. So thank you for watching. We love you guys. We will see you here tomorrow at three o'clock.